Welcome to Imperfect Lock Sports, where today I'm going with three picks of the most generic nature. These picks come in Chinese sets, uh, which I always recommend. Start off with one or two Chinese kits before moving on to, I would say, your lock tools. Not being paid, not being endorsed. I just really like your lock tools. Not to say you can't move on to Sparrows or Peterson. But, anyway, <clears throat> you can move on to anything you damn well like. I'm not your boss. Uh, I'm using a 3.2 mil turning tool. And I'm going to go with the Master Lock Fortress 50 mil. And I'm going to go with, starting with this uh, two peak. And the, the notches there have been um, a hollow. This is a, two, a double peak as well, but that's a solid one. Um, and they actually have different uh, frequencies. Done. Raked open. If you want to know, to know more about my particular technique, um, I've done another video on that one. But essentially I'm just using an elliptical kind of technique. So this is the Abus 6535. Now I can't even get that one in. Done. That one's unlocked. Uh, the Asa Abloy Lockwood 30mm. I will be demonstrating a new technique coming up soon. It's been a while to work that one out. So that's the uh, Lockwood. And now for the Master Fortress 30mm. Just going to stand up there, get a slightly better posture, and that's worked straight away. So that is the generic Twin Peak. Okay, the next one is uh, another Twin Peak. This one's solid, using the same tool, the same turning tension tool. And just waiting. Okay, I'm just going to focus on pins one and two. No, not going to go. There we go. So, don't knock. Your Chinese kits with these weird locks that you get the next to nothing because you know, maybe just maybe they're going to work. That's the Abus sixty five thirty five. As you can see, I've got dysgraphia here. Fingers aren't working properly, but hey, it doesn't stop me. Uh, what would 11030? That was the fastest one. I think I've done with that. And then we've got the Master Fortress 30 mil. Going for the flexible end there, the turning tool. Pretty much all I use. Straight open. Trying not to moz myself, but that's eight for eight in one video. Because locks know when the camera is on. Okay, applying attention. Now, this one is. Well, I have no idea what the hell this one is. But worked on the Master Lock Fortress.
Okay, I'm not being sponsored, paid, endorsing any particular um, lock or lock pick company here or manufacturer. Just going through the kit and found these and thought I'll give those a go. So I'm just using an elliptical technique. Just going to pull that out, switch that around, see if I get a bit more space. Okay, a bit more space there. Just going to sit down again. Okay, get the open. Now this is the Asa Alloy. Yeah, there really is no rule in the picking technique, but this one presented an interesting challenge. And I'm also almost going to be doing like an SPP technique with this generic rake. Just going to put it in to the first pin and just, just massage it around. I'm actually using a circular technique. But not, but I'm using this kind of technique. Don't know how. There you go. Worked. So I'm just going to put it in. The first pin, massage it. Go for the second pin, massage it. There you go. So there's a new technique that I found that worked. Uh, this particular generic technique. Achieve and be proud.